Hello guys, uh, this is Atul and I welcome you once again to Devil's Angel, your favorite reviews and experiences channel. So uh, I'm here with you guys uh, today with uh, an unboxing and features overview. So uh, this is about the Toshiba Flash Air wireless memory card and it comes in various uh, storage size, sizes like uh, 8 GB, 16 GB, 32 GB etc. And uh, this device that I'm going to review is a 16 GB one. It's a class 10 uh, memory card, so it can be used uh, with most of the advanced uh, DSLR cameras, etc. So what we will be doing, we will uh, first of all be unboxing uh, this uh, device and then I will give you an app overview. And then finally, I will uh, uh, try to summarize the pros and cons for you. So yes, uh, without further ado, let's uh, begin the review. So uh, this is a very promising device and it is like a godsend for somebody who is uh, using an old generation DSLR which uh, does not have any sharing capabilities. So uh, on the front of the box uh, you see the Toshiba branding and some details about the product, its storage capacity and the class 10 rating. On the back you have some details about the importer, the MRP that is uh, written as uh, rupees 3100. Although uh, I got it off a very great bargain, uh, right now it's uh, available online for about 1300 rupees. Uh, it is billed at about 1499, but you can use further coupons to reduce that price on eBay from uh, where I have bought it. Now let's uh, open the box and see what is inside. The first thing that you will notice is the card itself. And on the back of this, uh, you will see the user's manual. So uh, to use this card, you must have uh, a smartphone from uh, Apple or uh, any Android smartphone. Sadly, Windows is not supported. So you will need to download and install this app called Flasher from uh, the App Store or from the Google Play Store. And I have already installed this uh, application here. Now once you have uh, installed the app in your phone, uh, just insert the card in your DSLR and turn it on. And one thing to note here would be to not uh, turn on the auto shutdown setting in your DSLR because uh, to work this uh, wireless card does require constant power and once you shut down the camera it will not be able to derive the power from the battery. So that is one thing you should note and now once you have turned it on uh, you will instantly notice a wireless hotspot in your settings uh, just connect to that and now you should move back to the application and now here you will be able to notice the photos and the videos that are stored on your wireless drive and as you can see the photos uh, load up almost instantly and these are all uh, four to five uh, megabyte photos uh, which have been taken from uh, the Canon EOS uh, 600D which has a maximum resolution of uh, 18 megapixel. So yes, uh, the photos do load up quick but uh, there is uh, a catch here that uh, the videos uh, do take a long time to load up. For example, I tried to download a one minute video that was about 345 MB and it took me about uh, three to four minutes uh, to download that video. And now I will try to give you a walkthrough into the app and here you'll find two tabs. One is for the device and other is for the card and you will find the photos and the videos for both in this tab. And other settings you will find an option of music which I have not frankly tried yet. And under folder option you will find uh, a folder view of all the photos that I stored on your card and your phone. Then uh, you will find the information about the device that you own and under the application setting tab you will find some uh, important adjustment to the app for example uh, you can enable the option to open in some other applications other than your photos app and under the flash air settings uh, you can uh, adjust the password for your uh, wireless uh, connection and the by default uh, password is one two three four five six seven eight and here uh, there's also an option of internet pass through which uh, allows you to use internet while uh, using the card itself 
and uh, there is an another very important option of uh, automatically starting the wireless LAN so you can define the period uh, that uh, you want the wireless connection to be turned on once you uh, insert the card and turn on your camera so this uh, can be very useful setting to save your device's battery the advanced settings give you uh, options uh, which are better left as they are because uh, they hardly offer any added functionality and uh, finally there is an FAQ section inside the app which uh, gives you fine-tuned and detailed answers to all your queries and to sum up uh, I would say that it is a must-have uh, accessory for anybody who is uh, struggling with uh, transferring files uh, to and fro from his uh, card and com from his camera and the computer and um, there are some downsides like uh, the transfer speed is not up to the mark but it is understandable because uh, the tiny little card can only suck in that much of power from the battery to uh, generate the bandwidth so I would give it about 4.5 out of uh, 5 stars uh, considering the value it offers and the price uh, it is available. So guys uh, that's it for today's video and do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and do subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you guys back again soon.